So I thought I'd just do a quick wee video on um, some of the drawings I've been doing for Heidi and Arco there at uh, Minnesota Outlaw Customs or Outlaw Edge on YouTube. Um, so these are sort of a lot of future products, um, future builds. So they've got a, um, a metro van there um, that I sort of did a bit of quick sort of drawing for and sort of put their logo on the outside of it. Um, you know, just a rough drawing of what they could look maybe for their advertising or possibly, you know, to sell. And then the one that gets you with a roof chop down an inch or two or a few inches. Um, and then this is um, Arco's hand built car that he's building. I just did a, a reasonable rough sketch of that there quite a while ago. Um, you know, give a bit of an idea what the interior could look like and just to help him out when he's building stuff, you know, give you a bit more vision in your head, you know, or you can actually see what you're building. This was me playing around for ideas for bonnet scoop for the car there a wee while ago, so I just quickly scribbled that up and gave myself a bit of an idea what it could look like. Uh, I'm trying to think whether it's a 30, uh, sorry, 48 or a 49 Ford that Arco's also got there that um, that's a possible build. Um, he's got quite a few bits and pieces sitting around. Um, that you know, future projects that we can build up, so um, and sell or something. So you know, this is a possibility what we could do with it. I was just, so yeah, he said, just down, build up a couple of ideas. So this was more of a sort of a gas style, and almost basically the same, but down low as well. So um, you know, just playing around with different things. Um, he's got a, I can't remember it's a, it's a Merc. It's that sort of like that 39, 30, oh, sorry, 37, 39 sort of era. Um, we thought about maybe sort of Lincoln Zephyring it a little bit, sort of stretch it out and make it a bit more of like a look like a Lincoln Zephyr because it's sort of similar sort of style car. And customise it a bit. Um, that's, that was possibly the, was going to be the um, SEMA project, but we sort of shied away from that a little bit. So this is the drawings that I did for the SEMA project. Um, so yeah, I've had to take that out because I had to um, go get it professionally scanned. So yeah, that's that. Um, and that was me just playing around drawing a wheel up for it. And that was just, you know, when I was designing some spokes and trying to figure out what I was going to do. But these wheels may not get made or get on it. It was just ideas. Um, and he's doing that unibody there as well at the same time as the um, SEMA car at the moment. So this was some some ideas for possible concept for the front. You know, roll pan front, you know, roll pan rear. Um, 80, I think, 89 or late 80s caddy tail lights in the back instead of the um, slightly shorter ones that these things have. Where is that? I've got a couple of times here, sorry about the shaky camera. So this is what they sort of are, factory, that's a bad photo, but it's just with a, one I quickly printed off the internet. So that's got a, like a, a piece that comes down there like that, which is a bit shorter. So I well, um, sort of extended it down. He said the caddy tail lights are quite a bit longer. So I sort of stretched it down there. I'm not 100% sure exactly if that's the right length, but this gives you an idea. Um, sort of hideaway headlights, yeah, maybe the daytime running light on the over top of the blinkers in there, and and instead of four windows in the front, I sort of opened them up and made them two, and sort of actually stretched the centerpiece, made it a bit fatter. And then maybe a, 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 um, a dip in the bonnet just to give it a bit more character. I don't know, just some some ideas. You know, we we may do some more drawings on that. And this was just a side profile just to get a bit more of a, an idea. Um, it's not quite the right length, but um, it was just to get an idea, you know, door handles, you know, stuff like that. And then the last one is a, um, it's a 51 Chev that he's got there. It's a, it's a two-door, I'm not sure the exact body style. Oh, my hand's getting pretty sore on the camera. Um, but the... 
Sturdy Baker champion, um, that's the rear, win rear window off it. Um, I had an idea of putting the rear window on it and, and chopping it down and making it a roadster and making it sort of like a real sleeped out low down long roadster. I think that rear window, if that's sort of how portions and fits, that'll look sick. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and you thought maybe putting the door handles and top, you know, you push down, like make it look like bodywork, but to have it just you can grab the back corner of it and just push it down and open the door. That's just an idea, thought maybe, may keep stock handles, may have none, who knows, you know, just an idea. So this is all sort of the future builds. Um, there's another drawing I want to do, is because we've got a 33 Plymouth there that I want to build for myself, um, that Arco said that I can have there, and there's heaps of parts and stuff like that, so. I want to draw up a drawing for that for a bit of a few ideas, so when I get there I get a bit more of an idea of what I want to do to it. Um, I'd love to put a first gen Hemi in it, but I'll have to so just see what what motors have, can get hold of, and because Arco's got a heap of stuff there too, so like uh, old motors and V8s and bits and pieces. It's got a nice wee stockpile apparently, so there's all sorts of things. So it may end up just being a small block um, Mopar or something like that. I'd like to keep it all Mopar. That's just the way I am, but you know I don't mind putting sheaves and forwards and all that sort of stuff. You know when it's when you're building hot rods because that's what they did way back in the day. You know old nail heads and all sorts of things. You know carry motors and things. And um, it's more the modern stuff. You know like if you're gonna get a um, you know like a Mustang, you don't go put a sheave in it. Or if you're gonna have a you know like a um, like a Adelaide model cooter, you don't go get a Chevy and put it under or a Ford and put it. You know, you try and keep it what it is. You know, it's, it's the more modern stuff. Whereas the but the older stuff, you know, sort of like the uh, you yeah, sort of that more of that hot rod sort of custom area. Like you know, you use what you can get hold of. Like that's what they did back then. It's not quite so critical, but you know, it's still nice to keep. Um, you know, Ford and a Ford and a Chevy and a Chevy and a you know and a and a Mopar motor and a, and a Chrysler or a Dodge or a Plymouth or whatever, you know, like I'm, I'm a bit more that way, but I'm not super critical when it, when it comes to hot rods and stuff like that. Anyway, that's a quick look of some of the drawings I've done recently.